squad, current IWC Tag Team Champion, but flipping ain't easy, and the current IWC Heavyweight Champion, delicious Violet. Jimmy DeMarco. Loving the microphone. How are you guys doing tonight? Good, Sorg. How are you? Excellent. Dastardly well. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Hard out. What's that? Hard out. Hard out. Hard out. We're getting a little bit of industry speak here. Well, we, we don't have you guys for very long. You have a very busy schedule. You guys got big matches this 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 weekend, which uh, which are both of you in the cage? I, I this guy's the cage just that master. Guy? Just me. Just you in the cage. Me, Larry Sweeney, Chuck Roberts against John McChesney, Bubba the Bulldog, and John Power Bottom Bowling. <laughs> Kicking your legs. <laughs> and then it's for tag that is tremendous. This guy. Strappage against the stars of Arrow wow. Form. That's right. That's Let's right. That, we'll man. get into that, but first, we have plenty and plenty of questions for you guys. So I want to make sure we can, you know, get through all the fans' questions before we, uh, before you guys have to make a hard out. Hard out. Yeah. <laughs> hard. So uh, jargon me up. First of all, from Mad Mike, uh, he wants to know uh, for Jimmy. What is it like going to be teaming with the man, the myth, the legend known as Chuck Roberts? Of course, referring to your big cage match this weekend it's gonna be great chuck a lot he's gonna surprise a lot of people because he's been training like two or three days a week at the iwc training school now for those for those, those that might not be familiar with iwc this is the ring announcer <laughs> well and he's the owner now he's too. the owner he, he didn't ring announce in clearfield though no he didn't no he, he didn't he, he, can't, he ain't ring announcing on saturday either because he's in the match he's been training <laughs> out like, like two or three hours every night not now, every night, but now, like two or three nights a week. Is now. this going to be a Vince McMahon moment <laughs> where we find out that he's ripped under that tux? <laughs> Hell yeah, you're going to. Seriously. You have no idea what you're going to see. You're going to see close to a 12-pack. Cover, cover him in oil. Al Snow says he has a swimmer's build. He, yeah, that is true. <laughs> he's dangerously fast. All right, another question. Is there a possibility for some cage dancing with Larry Sweeney, or will it be saved for the after party? <laughs> I don't know. Anything's possible. I mean, especially if Chuck's in. T Chuck's going to be wearing my tights, and he has a pair of black boots. He's in full gear, topless. <laughs> so it's a tough question. So there could be some cage dancing, <laughs> with that much seduction going on in the ring. And 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 finally, for Mad Mike, when are you and Sword going to finally stop playing these games and settle down? It's up Aww. to you, man. It's up to you. <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> I'm not ready for it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not ready for it. You guys, so, you so guys could have a love to last the ages, and you just keep denying it. I can't do it. Just keep yourself. denying. So, so is not ready for a commitment. <laughs> I'm not ready for a commitment. You gotta settle, you down. settle down. Have yourself yeah. some little yeah. D battery. Would you quit flirting Drink with me and tea. ask more questions? <laughs> Drink some tea. <laughs> Drink some tea at night. All right, bomber. Uh, <laughs> if you had to pick one Ninja Turtle to go to, into battle with, who would it be? Oh well. Wit against against a Ninja Turtle? Yes. Oh. Well, I mean, I you know I'll modify this question. You've you've, you've, my, you've okay. Well, let me say my original answer is going to be the Mecha Turtle because I don't want to fight one of the real ones. They're, that's just not right. The Mecha Turtle's got to be all right. One all right. Well, you remember the last Ninja Turtles movie, right? Like the, the CG one. Yeah. Had the really cool uh, fight scene in the rain. Yeah. With uh with Raph and Leo. Are you Raph or Leo? Raph. Oh, there you go. Good answer. I have, I have a, I have a long, drawn-out theory on the Ninja Turtles and <laughs> their their ways of life and everything. I'm not going to get into that now, but I, it'll, it'll be a good call-in sometime for you. I'm, I'll, I'll give you all that. You'll, you'll have to call in the hotline for that one to fill us in. Remember, there's a three-minute limit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, how does it feel holding the gold with Jason Gorey? Jason Gorey is a severe, severely underrated talent. And uh, I'm just glad that, you know, we could come together and be partners and uh, do some of the craziest shit that anybody's seen this side of the Mississippi. Yeah, D Gory, we, we've been talking a bit about Gory on the show, um, about, the you know, he's been, he's been a, a, you know, a heel at some other places and has been really kind of uh, uh, coming into his own uh, there. So, uh, you know, I think we're going to see a little bit of a different attitude with, with you guys as you progress as a team. Uh you know, I, it's hard to say. I mean, you know, we are some fun-loving dudes, and we like to go and give it give it our all, and, you know, the fans love it. So uh, it's hard to say uh, in terms of aggression and, you know, how how uh, much angst we can get built up. But, you know, 
We'll see what happens. Now, uh, now his last question here for you. Uh, now, you know, Oxfam was, of course, a, uh, you know, Gorian, Gorian uh, Shima had had a couple of uh, rejected names. If we remember, Team Catfish and then uh, uh, Babyface Fire. Uh, were there any uh, rejected tag team names before you came up with uh, Flippin' Ain't Easy? Oh, there's. <laughs> If I could only remember, there were so many. <laughs> was yeah. there just a giant, like, dry erase board filled with them at some point? Yeah, it was, yeah. well, like a it, it was like a ball of just terrible names just to, just to, <laughs> just to play on the absurdity of just overdoing everything. But, uh, it turns out we, we kept, we kept a funny, it, it was from like, um, it was a Mad Lib Valentine. And, uh, the line was, to quote, the famous rapper Notorious B.I.G. Flipping ain't easy, but it sure is necessary. <laughs> so, so with there, that, there's a T-shirt. <laughs> that with that, with that, that's you know how we're living. So you know what I mean. Awesome, awesome. How how was the uh, the repel in your introduction as a team? Well, uh, you guys, you guys, of course, had the rope. You did the big uh, uh, jump off of the uh, the railing at the Court Time Sports Center. Sportatorium. Oh, yeah, is, it, that, is it the sport No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but no, the like, you confused me for a second, asshole. The, I know they've been expanding. I but thought they changed. The, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought the, it became the sport. The court time sport zone. It's now like its own region <laughs> slash party center. Right. But no. Uh, luckily, Jason Gorey had um, some some gloves doing the, his repelling, and I had forgotten mine. And I said, you know, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll be able to. I'll be able to pull it. I, I take my hands very well. You know what I mean. Offer me some good protection. <laughs> well, <laughs> nothing can protect you from the rope. Uh, that was the first match I have ever, ever had to wrestle with blisters all over oh. my fingers, and uh, one of them oh, was actually shit. torn open, and it sucked. Like it really did. <laughs> and now it looks I've, like someone threw acid on your hands. Yeah, I've learned my lesson now. I've got. I've got gloves. I'm ready to go in case we ever need to do any kind of repelling again. You know. Sword carries gloves in his glove box just in case. You, know. <laughs> you never know what you're, you never know what you're going to have to repel uh, off of. No, good point that we're mentioning it. Uh, for those in the chat room, currently we have a Jay Gory in the chat room. Uh oh. Uh oh. And he, and he replies, "50 it's... Cent, not Biggie." 50, oh, he knows. So I, I, that's my bad. It's true. It was 50 Cent. Excellent. Flipping ain't easy, but it sure is necessary. <laughs> we got <laughs> we got some chat room, or I'm sorry, we got some uh, questions for both of you from Brian Kowalski uh, via email. Sounds like serial killer. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it does, man. Who who was your favorite wrestler as a child? Oh shit. I, I a lot, man. I like Psycho Sid a lot. Psycho Sid. <laughs> I, that fits I, perfectly. I know. I had weird favorites, didn't you? You were a Sid fan. Oh, uh, I like Sid. I like Mr. Perfect, Shawn Michaels, and then I mean, to get me started, I had the good old Hulkster. There you yeah, go. Yeah. You know. Ultimate Warrior. Ooh. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like Hogan more than Warrior. I remember. I almost cried whenever there was issues between them. It's <laughs> not. Right. That's serious business. I was a youngster. All right. Also from Brian, who's your dream opponent? Dream opponent. Well, I have bad dreams of wrestling Jimmy DeMarco. That's <laughs> <laughs> messed up, man. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but the best. That's of funny because I have really good dreams about wrestling Jimmy DeMarco. My dream well, opponent would be Nora Connors. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Return match. Return match against the devil. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> I think Sensitive we talk- subject. I think we talked about that a little bit on the show before. <laughs> Dream opponent. Uh... I would like to see Flippin' Ain't Easy against RBD and Sabu. That would be my dream match. Jeez. <laughs> Just to watch it. That would be tremendous. Because I'm not a selfish dreamer, Sorg. And I share my dreams. And I want to share them with you someday. Dude, are these... Are these- <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> I won't. I won't ask about barbed wire then. <laughs> whoa, whoa, you're kinky. All right. Do you, uh, Brian also asked, do you wrestlers fight a lot backstage? <laughs> Boy, do they ever! <laughs> oh yeah, it's like then they kiss and make up real quick. <laughs> yeah. It's real like hypersexual. It's like Desperate Housewives, like, <laughs> guys pulling each other's hair and stuff. Is that why you shave your head? Hell yeah, man. <laughs> I gotta just run. Yeah. <laughs> I just jog the whole time. 
What was your uh, most painful injury thus far? Uh, you can answer that one first. Well, my most painful injury, I think, I crushed my toe right before Black Diamond. <laughs> 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 my uh, Ninja Tabi boots, you know, they split and, you know, mm -hmm. separates your one toe from the many. And uh, I'm warming up doing leapfrogs and stuff. And uh, somebody says, oh, leap, uh, you got some mad hops there, Facade. I'm like, oh, yeah, check this out. And, you know, I start doing it even higher on a hard, you know, locker room floor. And I came down straight down on it, and oh. it crushed. And oh, it crushed man. down really, really bad. And um, <laughs> I was, like, walking it off. I was supposed to uh, fight Lowrider. And uh, I was walking it off, and I'm like, man, it feels like something's jabbing me. And I was feeling in my in my, my toe, and I took my That's boot off, sick. And, <laughs> and it was crushed, and I pulled it straight. And uh, then I passed out. <laughs> <laughs> me and Shima were in the crowd at that show watching, and all of a sudden we saw people go running in the back, and we were like, oh, my God, please don't let it be facade or low rider. And then... Uh, someone came and got me and she were like, you guys got to come, you guys got to come. And we came down there and like, saw so I broke his toe and passed out. And I was like, Who? no fucking way. That was so <laughs> and we got back and he looked dead. Like, I've never I, seen, yeah. he was like the shade of this shirt. Ghostly white and <laughs> yeah, water like all Salamander spilled white. Up. Like, it was like an egg white. It was weird. Oh, oh but yeah, oh, that God. was, that was the most intense pain. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> yeah. What about but, you, guy? Probably when I... Stephen Coulter was supposed to hold the ladder while I jumped out of the ring onto Flexor and Ferrari. Oh, and I oh. got up top, and I jumped, and then I looked, and that fucker Coulter wasn't holding the ladder, and I said to myself, this is why I don't fucking jump off shit. This is why I don't jump off shit. <laughs> and my fucking, I lawn darted myself on the floor at core time, and my head bounced, and it was just like oh, the God. weirdest echo I ever wow. heard. Which match life. was this? The Gambino Street Fight. Oh, there's clips of it on certain music videos. I think it's on the uh, one of me and Shima and the one of me and Ray. It's fucking, oh my god, it hurt. Wow. Yeah, wow. that answers your question. <laughs> <laughs> Alexis Browning is in here, uh, has a bunch of questions for you guys. Uh, how did you learn, uh, for Facade, how did you learn such crazy high-flying moves? Oh, uh, that's a... <laughs> I don't really know how I learned to do them. I just... I guess that comes with uh, trial and error, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but uh, I sure do like to try. I like to try as crazy a thing as I can possibly do, <laughs> probably <laughs> to my um, demise. But, you know, uh, with practice comes perfect. So, That's I like... mean, that, no one, uh, I can't really say, like, people inspire me, but, you know, I just, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> what the hell? Now, now this is more like I, I think this is more like a dating profile because they ask, uh, uh, well, who, well, okay, who's your favorite tag team partner? Getting to know you. How long did it take you to grow your hair the way it is? Ooh. How tall are you? <laughs> and what is your favorite color? Nine feet. How tall are you? Nine feet. He's six, he's six foot sexy. That's what I, I should use that. If I, I know. Yeah, I said you, you should use. That. I agree six with foot you. Sexy. Nice. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll, we'll move. Okay, I guess it continues for Jimmy. Uh, how often do you work out? How often? <laughs> how often? Is this a dude? Uh, no, this is Alexis. Uh, uh, could, so uh, it how, could be a dude. How often do you tan? Um, <laughs> do you shave your entire body? <laughs> and do you plan on partying anywhere after the show Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> no, I work. I, I work outside, so I tan every day. I guess when naturally from the sun and it's beautiful rays. Beautiful. And, <laughs> you know, hey, UVA, UVB. Yeah. And I uh, I don't know how to answer any of those other questions. So, because I don't feel comfortable. Because the name Alexis is starting to creep me out. For both, are you single? What are your real names? <laughs> Has a fan ever done anything crazy to get your attention? Uh, <laughs> what are your uh, day jobs? <laughs> what is your ideal dream date? How did you guys meet, and are you friends in real life? This is for real the funniest goddamn letter guys, anyone's ever seen. I, I really think she's trying to wrangle a threesome for you guys. I think. I There you go. What have you I done? Was, I didn't do <laughs> shit, man. Welcome, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show, where matches are made. Welcome to Heat Central. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs>
<laughs> Can we disregard well, that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, moving <laughs> up. Uh, mov moving on to Justin Ryan <laughs> emailed us today. Uh, it's too bad. What the hell? This doesn't get much better. Is there anyone in wrestling you want to see dead? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect week to cover that. I feel like we're you shoot at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna. You shoot. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I'm gonna wish death upon someone in professional wrestling. Like. Why would you? Off how camera. would you publicly? Yeah, how, how would you? Publicly <laughs> All right, moving on. on <laughs> moving on. We'll, we'll right. This would be the most retarded fucking we, shit. Because <laughs> even if your dream comes true in some fucked up way, I don't think death is screwed. Yeah. I don't think you should wish death on anybody, no. really. But All right. uh, All right. bad karma, Jeez. man. Yeah, this All is right. awesomest turn, questions ever. Turn, <laughs> turn, turning like it around. To get us hung you out have, in the front yard. Next question verbatim. What's that? Awesome. Verbatim. Word Verbatim. Word. Do Who it. is the hottest yeah, bitch in pro wrestling? <laughs> hottest bitch in pro wrestling, Shima Zion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's the I'm not even I had to say it before he did. Series. I had to say it before he did. Because I was going to say I was gonna, I was gonna After say, that, I was going to be gonna stuck. I was going to say Maurice or whatever her name is. Maurice. The French fuck? I don't know. She has a little bit of a flat she ass. so much fake hair. Zion. Jesus, I can't follow that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite movie? <laughs> <laughs> the now. Matrix. Matrix. I have too many. Today. Lady Gaga tour tour. You, that's yours, right? Lady Gaga tour documentary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Arnold. <laughs> Expendables. You didn't see the Expendables. Jimmy D went to see This Is It. <laughs> this Is It. Oh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> I didn't see that. Didn't see I just, it? No, it's all. I think no, I didn't see it. Um. As you already asked that one out, what are you most afraid of other than that monkey head? Sharks, man. The monkey like, head. Great wow. white, like great white sharks, just the thought of them makes me queasy. Is the monkey head eating the other monkey? <laughs> I think so. Doing another monkey. No, <laughs> <laughs> this, this monkey contains gold, gold <laughs> Montana. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. There you go, you got I a little friend there. He's <laughs> out creeping while you were sleeping. <laughs> wow. Uh, what? He <laughs> back shot. I, I don't. Uh, what was your favorite match against each other? Oh, jeez. Against each other? Against me and Facade, you mean? I guess. Well, I guess you guys had a couple, yeah. I would say, oh, probably the one at Hybrid. Yeah, the Hybrid one was like. Just because the crowd was so fucking crazy for this guy. Just for like. I mean, not. I, for, <laughs> for no reason, <laughs> really. We it was in just. Like a, like a, a children's center type deal, like a Chuck, Chuck E. Cheese, Cheese kind of thing. And we had a pretty adult themed match. Like I gave him a bulldog and pinned him while I was There's boning like, his chest. Yeah, <laughs> there was there was like a. I, I went to get in the ring and I gave him a sunset flip and he like totally like crotch faced me like. I teabagged him to counter it and I didn't even think of what I did until and then and you I was to hit me with your finish. You uh, screamed "fuck you" and did the throat slit. Oh yeah, yeah, cause oh yeah, cause he was yelling "fuck you" most of the match to me and. Uh, <laughs> Like, even after I dove on him and everything. Well, he did this fucking dive. Like, I didn't know because the show we were on for them before that, you were allowed to say whatever, and that should teach you not to say whatever because right. then you can't. Yeah. And he did a dive on me and landed on his feet, and the crowd was going crazy, and then the minute they shut up, I said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> right when they shut up, it was bad timing on mine. Have wow. you ever beat up a fan before? Yeah, the one who was asking us, you know, where do we live? <laughs> what are our <laughs> names? Uh, have you ever had sex with a ring rat? You don't have to answer that. I'm not in the bestiality. I don't know. Kind of, what is that? How can a penis fit in like... it's something that big? Yeah. That physical. And uh, it is one for you, Jimmy. Did you? Well, I guess both of you. Uh, did you cry when Norm Connors was saying goodbye in December? Oh, uh, I don't think I don't think Jimmy's eyes other. cried. I yeah. think something else cried. I don't know if I. I think I cried, peed, and pooped all at the same time. <laughs> My body just shut down of all physical like movements. Just, I don't know. You know, you just lose all control. Yeah, I was around. Wow. All right, this one. Uh, we got this via text message to email. I don't know how this happened. I, lo um, I love the. We the, could. We the could call them back. Uh, what What match had the worst residual effects? Uh, and any list: Drake, Younger, or Necro Butcher, uh, etc. I guess. I guess it's for me. Yes. Yeah. I get. Well, I yeah. don't know. I would say the one with the Gambinos because the the falling off the fucking ladder. <laughs> <laughs> the other ones were bad, but dude, that uh, the ladder one sucked. I went to try to eat Denny's after that match and I threw it up. All right. Now <laughs> it killed little, my taste buds. It's a little I long. I can't even tell you which one. 
Yeah, what about what would that be for you? Your body has been through so much. I think it's it. <laughs> it really has. It was, I said that in a homosexual way, <laughs> but, but it has. Man. It was the toe, wasn't it? Yeah. Your body. Uh, yeah. I think it was so the. Much. I think it was the consecutive matches I had with you. Like <laughs> we wrestled like a series of like four match or like three matches in like less than a month. But the last two were like within the same week. Crazy, we and they were like oh, Monday yeah, right, and Friday. Yeah. The mon- It was a Monday and then a Friday. Well, the Monday was like a tournament. It was we had to re- we wrestled three matches, then we fought each other and like a no DQ and then the Friday was a ladder match for the blow off and man yeah I hurt my knee in the Monday match and then we had IWC on Saturday that I, yeah by IWC on Saturday I was dead because I lost all that blood the night before yeah I felt like a zombie I needed Sorg to suck star me oh hey <laughs> hey <laughs> whoa alright so, well, we got well, some we got some uh, questions from Big Freaky. I'm not gonna. A lot of them are long form, so I'm not gonna get out into all of them. I think I think I've um, I think I've kind of okay. cracked through this this email. Okay. Some of them are sentences, question marks. So <laughs> we'll jump sentence. around a little bit. I think <laughs> oh, I think I got it here. It's right. an outline, an awesome. informal outline. Some of them are just sentences. Um, okay, so I guess I think this one's for Jimmy D. Is your goal to die in the ring? <laughs> No, man. I well, you know, I really don't care because I found out recently. I always thought when you died, the government came and like just paid for it and everything. I didn't know that if I die, I have to like somebody's got to pay for that. And I, I think Norm could help me fulfill that idea. Like, if I were to die in the ring, I wouldn't want to be buried. I would want them to like take my body and throw it off a skyscraper downtown, <laughs> just so the. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fucking All, like, dead. Inspect their gadget stuff. I'm dead. And if I die in the ring, that would be an awesome bonus because my corpse would be in my tights and boots, dude. And I would just be like, <laughs> boom, just explode. Like, Spontaneous yeah. human or combustion. Maybe the fact that I'm dead, maybe something else will happen, and I'll just fucking vanish, and I'll be left as my tights, and they float to the fucking the the, the, the concrete. <laughs> the pavement was his enemy. <laughs> the pavement was his enemy. I wasn't as enemy. Uh, LB, uh, LB, you got any more from right. that email? Um, let's see here. Uh, that's a sentence. Uh, <laughs> how did it feel to humble the mighty duo of faith and nothing? How much did you bleed that night? Did you sleep with that blonde who kept giving you the eye? <laughs> now, now, actually, he's, refer- he's referring to the uh, Drag to Hell show in Strongville. You and uh, Shima's yeah. eye on against faith oh, and nothing. Is, yeah, it, is I... this the bar one? Yeah, The yeah. infamous bar one. I, I actually... Uh, yeah, I, I, I bought that one. I finally got to see this match. They still have bar shows. They, Non-stop. They, yeah, they, all their shows are infamous bar shows. <laughs> Seriously, man, they're crazy shit. But I uh, got hit by a bottle. Ugh. And I didn't even know it was that bad. I remember I looked at uh, Biggins in the crowd. I was like, am I bleeding bad? And he was like, no, it's cool. <laughs> and later on that night, he told me. He fucking just said that. And I see Shima brought the DVD over house the other day. And I got like a fucking blood mullet that goes down into like a... Because like it was a, like... Looks like, it looks like my neck it, it, it looked like it cut you directly in the back of your head. Well, he hit me the one time and it went this way. And then when that hit me, it went that way. So I got like a satanic cross on the back of my head. If you do, it sucks. <laughs> wow. But yeah, wow. I didn't, uh... Don't didn't. hit your friends with bottles, kids. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Fle- chest flexor, that's the, uh, for you. What about the blonde you kept dying, uh, apparently? I'm engaged now, yeah. I think you're engaged so, to that same blonde, right? I am engaged to that same <laughs> chick that just goes to show you, man. Love works in mysterious ways. I got hit by a bottle. And then I... <laughs> hey, I love you, baby. <laughs> That must have been. See, my blood. I carry a fucking hormone in me that's just so. Your pheromones. Sick. Yeah. Your shark, pheromones seep shark out. Shark feels it right now. It's yeah, like man. when a shark senses blood in the water. When my blood's open, that's like throwing that's... blood in the water for bitches, man. They come flying. Wow. Like if the I was, floodgates are sorry, open. There's a chance I might bleed in this cage match. If you're there Saturday, I'm if I look over be... and see you running up the cage with a hard on, I don't know what I'm gonna I'm do. I'm gonna be right. There might be. Or... There might be a moisture mountain. <laughs> yeah. It might the be girls a are gonna, If mountain. I start bleeding, Sarah, the girls are going to start jumping onto the cage like fucking uh, creatures in some kind of movie or something. <laughs> it, won't, it won't be like that time when that's, you bled on that That's why I'm not old. in the studio, Jimmy. I'm trying to quit you. It's hard. <laughs> so I'm about to get one of those vampire things like... and bite my wrist open and go like that so you come for oh. blood. It won't be oh. like that time when you bled on that 10-year-old. <laughs> I don't even really know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any more All right. From, here's the, a, from here's the free code? One of my one of my favorite sentences here. Uh, ask Jimmy about cracking Ryan Burke over the head with a steel chair. What does that mean? Question mark. 
Zooming and from it, Zod, man. I'm sick of answering these. I think that's are, scandalous. <laughs> yeah, I. It's all right. The next. I don't know. I didn't. We didn't hit facade. Brian Burke with the chair when we attacked him at no, that, that was, show. That was forearm. That was my fucking forearm from behind. It might have sounded like a steel chair, but it was my forearm. So I love how he, he capitalized <laughs> cracking. So is his nickname cracking Ryan Burke? Twisted steel and sex appeal over here. No, it wasn't cracking Ryan Burke. That would be a good name if he started doing like a Schwan Man gimmick or something. Schwan Man! <laughs> cracking Ryan Burke. And be like, because he's like cracking with the deliveries. Or your skull. Oh, Schwan Man. I marked wow. for that. Awesome. I think okay, uh, this, this okay, last one, in, which might be a sentence, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Uh, this one's for Facade. Yes. With two exclamation points. Um, with less than 20 matches under his belt, what are Facade's memories from the early CWE shows in 2007? Your, that's not right, you uh, are. Uh, you battles are. with Retail Dragon, Sammy Callahan, Johnny Gargano, Patrick Hayes, and others. And then the email just floats off into the ether. No period, no anything. It's just over. What's he say? Is it just random words in there? Uh, yeah, well, thoughts from your time in CWE in 2007, apparently. Mm-hmm. Less than 20 matches under my belt in 2007 in CWE. Well, I mean, I learned a lot from Retail, retail Dragon. Um, I did not really have many opponents there. Uh, Jason Gorey, I've been, uh, you know, fighting my way to the top there, but I don't really know, you know, uh, Johnny Gargano back then. Um... I didn't even have any kind of matches. I was still tagging with him in IWC, so yeah, I'm not really a sentence fragment. <laughs> <laughs> I think wow. it's a perfect way to answer that email. Speaking of right, Yeah. I'm sorry. That's it. That's what we got. Excellent. Uh, Man, I'm kind of disappointed. I honestly thought his would be like more outlandish than that. Because I, like, I always like talking to him in person because he's... You know, I'm, He's out there in a good way. I finally met Big Freaky up at the uh, Chikara show in Cleveland oh, a, a couple months ago, and so did Russell Fan. <laughs> yeah, and so did I. So. When was the, do you know the first time so you did met I. Big Freaky? Uh, I, th- that, was, well, no, I, I think you told us about, about the first Big Freaky story. It yeah, was actually yeah. the, uh, a CWE show in like 2007 where he uh, he's like, oh, you like your thing, you know? I'm like, yeah, I like you, man. Thanks for coming. Were you with us the time though? Whenever we we gave him the money to mess with Chuck when he was coming back from the battle. <laughs> oh yeah, that no, was no, was, well no, I wasn't there, there, but I, I thought you were there. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, that was my first encounter. You know, it just came together. I wish that video could have uh, been. The, the, a video somewhere. Gory has it somewhere in his house. He has video. Of Big Freaky going up to Chuck Roberts and saying, hey, you're a Chuck Roberts guy. You're way better than Hank Hudson. And Chuck's like, oh, thanks, man, thanks. And we were like, Propositions oh, man, him. he's not going to. He's not going to ask, and we took our money for nothing. So as soon as Chuck went in to get the back of the van, he's bent over, totally vulnerable. Vulnerable. Big Freaky goes, you want to go to the bathroom with me? And Chuck goes, ah, get away from me! No, 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 Big Freaky's a, he's a big guy. I mean, he's, Dude, I he's taller he than I am. the Academy Award for the way he, li- he lured him in, like, marking out for him, only to be like, hey, you want to go to the bathroom with me? <laughs> Sexy time explosion. And Chuck didn't talk for like 10 miles down the road until he was like, <laughs> who the fuck set that up? <laughs> awesome. Wow. Let me see if any other snuck in here real quick. All right. We need more outlandish emails well, for next time. Hot, Hot Wheels says... That we will uh, try to attempt to answer. Hot Wheels is in the Hot chat Wheels. room and says, you cheater, I thought you were mine, Jimmy. <laughs> wow. So, well, he wants to taste it. <laughs> that's the he best does. answer he wants, <laughs> he wants to take he wants that zipper hoagie extra value meal <laughs> awesome uh now facade we uh we saw you uh over at uh pwo Resol- resolution three resolution got to see the show that was pretty cool what what'd you what, what'd you think from your perspective there that's that's got to be one of the biggest indie shows in the area right i think there. uh you know resolution was pretty sweet um, you got two matches in there. Yeah, two two pretty big matches. Um, we got to lay waste to uh, Nikki Valentino and the Gambinos. <laughs> you know, hired by Shima Zion after he spray painted my face. I know, man, that was messed up. I saw that video. You dude. were screaming in <laughs> such pain. Dude. Yeah, he spray painted my face. <laughs> I spray painted him, or I hair sprayed his face, and then I couldn't even get, you know, true vengeance. But then, you know, uh, what was the other one? Uh, whenever Crimson was calling out Super Hentai, and he uh, had made threats that he had actually hurt his family, so 
in uh, great hero fashion, I defended the honor of Super Hentai, and uh, to no avail, unfortunately. But what can I say? I mean, two big, two big matches, one one show. I can't can't win them all, bro. Was that one of the bigger uh, the the bigger attendance wise shows you've been on? Um, yeah. I mean, uh, it's hard to say if uh, a new beginning woo had a bigger crowd mm-hmm. or not, but um, that that was definitely um, you know. One of the more highly attended matches, for sure. Awesome. And now I understand, uh, I think, uh, WrestleFan, haven't you said you've uh, seen him over at uh, CZW recently? Yeah, yeah. I think you had a, rec- uh, you had a recent match uh, in one of their shows in uh, North Carolina, I think. Yeah, yeah. I wrestled AR Fox uh, last Saturday. Yeah, North Carolina, down in Lumberton. That was a pretty crazy show itself. Uh, uh, luckily, I got to... Um, make a big statement there and they're uh looking to bring me back for the aerial assault match in september september the 10th actually some uh got who chuck taylor ricochet and uh myself have been announced so far yeah so that should be real interesting boxes and ladders (laughs) awesome uh well aside from iwc uh where else are you guys uh gonna be popping up that people should be checking you out I'm not popping up anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, mean, I mean, you know, in, I'm in a wrestling ring, on the internet, you know. I'm an IWC right now for the foreseeable future until the bone in my right hand heals. Oh, yeah. So if you look up close, you can see it. It's... If you look at this one compared to this one. Oh, jeez. No. I have a broken bone in my right hand. Ouch. It makes masturbation. Yes. Awesome, because it doesn't feel like it's me doing it. Because the hand is so small and bizarre. Now, where, where'd you get that from? Room. Just wear and tear and oh, stupid, yeah. punching stuff while I'm drunk. Awesome. <laughs> you know the usual. I work out a lot, Sorg, and my grip is just so tight. Oh. One day I was like, really like, ah, and then just like, ah. Turn the bars to dust. I mean, outside of IWC, I don't know. Uh, I'll be looking to squash the fire ant on Friday at AIW in Cleveland, Ohio. Nice. Uh, what else? Yeah, like I said, CZW, September 10th. And uh, Hybrid Pro, September 11th. Can kill Tommy Dreamer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Tommy Dreamer? Really? Yeah, check out uh, Hybrid Wrestling. Got a lot of uh, crazy stuff going on. The H3RD. Sorg, Sorg doesn't believe you. Sorg's checking right Throwing, now. Uh-oh. I'm Sorg. qualifying this. <laughs> Tommy Dreamer, bro. Sorg said, Tommy, Tommy Dreamer. Dreamer hit me in the face. Oh, yeah? Then he came me in a tummy. <laughs> <laughs> we got, tummy, then, dude. then we got in a car, and That's we funny. hightailed it out of there, because we ain't putting up with that shit. There he is. It's an inside job. It's an inside job. job. <laughs> it's an inside job. Wait, is that the name of the event? Wow, That's the name it of is. the event. That's, that's something I haven't heard before. <laughs> wow. Sorg likes that because it reminds him of the hard out. Hard out. The hard out. <laughs> Speaking of the hard out, you guys Inside are going to be IWC out. Wrestling this Saturday, Cage Fury 2010. Cage Fury? Cage Fury. <laughs> Tony Fury. Fury. Tony Fury. <laughs> We're going to be an uncaged Fury match. We're going to have Tony F. dancing in a cage at the front door when you come in to like rip your tickets. <laughs> That's Cage Fury. Yeah, Cage Fury. There you Fury. go. He there pays you. Go. Of course, uh, flipping ain't easy. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was a grenade. You. <laughs> Are you on Tony F's take, Sorg? I, I, I can't. I can't. You on the payroll? Oh, I can't. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the payroll a little bit, but. Motherfucker. Son of a bitch. Flippin' ain't easy. Takes on arrow form. High flying. That's gonna be a good Action. match. Arrow form. We've seen. Uh, you got. Well, they were in there for uh, Super Indie. Yeah. So. Check those bad boys out on yeah, MTV2 USA Lucha Libre. There's a new uh, highlight video online, Sword, for this guy's match, too. It features. Oh, yeah. Features Facade kicking one of the Irish Airborne in the face. Looks <laughs> disgusting. That's why Facade's feet are so deadly. <laughs> Don't ever forget that. Can you guys tell me anything about Samurai Del Sol? He looks pretty sweet. There's a there's a there's a pretty cool highlight video they put up for him. On What's your take on him? You IWCWrestling.com. <laughs> he reminds me of Facade. He I was watching yeah. his video on uh, on the website because they put a preview up on mm-hmm. IWCWrestling.com. He looks like uh, the mix. He reminds me of a mix between hentai and Facade. Yeah. Except he's thick mm. and he's tall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I couldn't tell the height. I I couldn't. I'm a bad judge of height. 
<laughs> of course, good. he's a like <laughs> thick cut. <laughs> I would say he's going to be taking on Logan Shulo, Colin Delaney, and John Johnny Gargano. Shulo. In a <laughs> four-way match, it's going to be pretty good. And of course, the big cage matches: Eric Lee Schwab versus Justin Idol. Oh damn! So that's cage, right? Yeah. Uh, Shima Zion and Super Hentai, guys, both of you uh, uh -oh. have history with. And then the brawl, <laughs> the brawl for all, baby. That's right. That's right. What do you have in store for McChesney Bullen and Bubba the Bulldog, Jimmy DeMarco? Fuck him up, man. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's what I'm here to tell you, Sword. Does it take much more hype than that? Yeah. No, dude, no. I'm going to get McChesney so bad. Oh, <laughs> so bad. You're going to get his comeuppance. He is. I I was at the uh, the IWC training school. They set it up. They set the cage up. And, and me and Chuck Roberts <laughs> rolled around in it. We just got slabs. We got sla well, no, let me hey. finish, man. It wasn't just us. We got slabs <laughs> of meat that we brought in, like raw flesh. And we took it down, and we were just beating the shit out of it, like taking the town on it. And I actually had to, I didn't know, I didn't stop Chuck. He got so taken away, and t and, and uh, the, the owner of the, the warehouse had to come out with his hose. And I said, now it's time, it's time, we need it. And they sprayed him down through the cage, and he looked at his hands, and they were all cut up from punching. And he goes, what have I become? And he started crying. And I said, this is where we need you to be, Chuck. This is what we need, man. Shit bottom like line, that. Bottom line, come to Cage Fury this weekend. Or buy the DVD, everything, man. I don't even feel comfortable billing him as Chuck Roberts at this point anymore. It's something people haven't seen. If you He's had to nasty. give him a new name for for his... Fuck Slobbers. <laughs> yeah, you've mentioned uh, <laughs> Fuck Slobbers before. <laughs> Fuck Slobbers. Fuck Slobbers is his alter ego. That's who you're going to see in the ring on Saturday. But I, we can't bill him as that. So no, no, him, it's a family show. Let's just call him F Slobbers. F Slobbers. Seacrest is already taken. Yeah. He's the, <laughs> besides that, he looks like the bastard kid of the ShamWow Vince and uh, Seacrest. <laughs> if someone mixed their, mixed their DNA together, that's what would come out. If uh, they slap chopped their DNA. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, that's something they should put in like a Saw movie. Get someone getting slap chopped to their dick. <laughs> That would, oh my god. It's gonna get, like, cut this way, cut that way. Wow. Wow. Uh, Alright, guys. Well, of course, if you guys go and check it out, IWCWrestling.com for all the information. You guys are on Twitter as well. Tweet us. How, yeah. do, how tweet, can they tweet, tweet, tweet you? Follow us or something like that. <laughs> get at us, man. What? Twitter. What? Type in the friggin' name, Jimmy DeMarco69. Jimmy DeMarco69. One, one facade, right? One facade. You can find us pretty much on all forms of social media with yeah Th that goes usernames. back to the real name question as long as you're not mentally retarded and you have a facebook it's fairly fucking easy to find out anybody's real name <laughs> yeah now. if you if you are human i mean even most cybernetic organisms can even find out our real names if they just pretend they are yeah. real enough people long enough to just act like they know us that is true those and, robot accounts yeah, right. the cybernetic organisms sent from the future <laughs> Those 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 spam sixteen year old girl porn things on MySpace <laughs> are like the first fucking Terminator. In fifty years, they're the T one hundred. Yeah, when they start killing people and raping people, that will be they'll be like, remember the days on MySpace when all it would do is I was set to kill you. Yeah, we're gonna be like bleep bleep. That's we're gonna your be real like name. Hiding underground, surrounded by dogs covered in shit with guns. We're gonna be like, remember when all they would do was try and fuck you on spam? Now they're killing us. <laughs> they're killing us. <laughs> they've they've grown their own artificial yeah. intelligence. They've gone live. <laughs> it's like a fucking that's the next sci-fi movie from IWCfilms.com. <laughs> Jimmy DeMarco and Facade starring the future MySpace spam fuckers. Yeah. We had Taylor wow. Lautner in that shit too. Yeah, he starred in a movie with Taylor Lautner. I didn't star in no <laughs> You were in a movie with Taylor Lautner and Katherine Heigl. Two different films <laughs> under his belt. That's that's legit, man. He's a movie star. He's a renaissance man. Uh, He's the biggest star, movie star come out of Pittsburgh since Michael Keaton and Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum watches Jeff Goldblum. you poop in Jimmy's house. He does. <laughs> I, have a, I have a frame now. <laughs> All right. On that note, <laughs> thank you guys very much for being on the show again. Yes. It's been great. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Yeah. Anything, anything to tell people before you leave? Come to the fucking show on Saturday. Yeah, guys, just wow. support indie wrestling. 
Go to his shows, too. He's got them all the time. Do Other them. ones. It's not just about IWC. Do shows. He's a professional wrestler, and he's here to sell himself, and he's here to sell the shows that he's on. So if you want to fucking see this guy, professional wrestle, sports entertain to the max, you go see him. You look him up on Twitter and Facebook. And my space. Right? YouTube. Yeah, and YouTube! YouTube's the easiest way! You see him do all kinds of crazy shit! You see him do propelling from rafters, moot something and jumping into the crowd, doing top rope gypsy walks in the fucking lightning! In a lightning storm, this guy will do it. And you wanna doubt whether professional wrestling's real or not? Fuck you, his name's Facade. <laughs> That's the hard sell, Jimmy. I love you. That's if the only. hard sell on the hard out, motherfucker. <laughs> We're out of here. Thank you. Later, y'all. <laughs>